Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Joel from Terry Chew Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. For this lesson, we will use Pythagoras theorem to solve this question effectively. Okay, so let's read the question together. They said that in the diagram below, triangle ABC is a right angled triangle. P is the midpoint of BC such that PQ is perpendicular to AC. Which means that you can actually notice that there are three right angle triangles right away. Okay, ABC, APQ, as well as PQC. Okay, so you want to show that AQ square is equal to CQ square plus AB square. Okay, so this will actually require you to use Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so in Pythagoras theorem, we have a right angle triangle. Okay, if this is A, this is B, and this is C, the length of the slanted height is C, we can say that A square plus B square is equals to C square. Okay, and likewise, this means that A square is equals to C square minus B square, and B square is equals to C square minus A square. Okay, so we can do that by just by rearranging them. Okay, so we actually need to use this to solve the question. Okay, so the first one AQ square. So let's look at AQ. How can we get AQ square? Notice that AQ square is part of a side of a right angle triangle. Okay, it is not the slanted side. So we can straight away say that AQ square okay is equals to ap square which is the length of the slanted height minus pq square okay we are looking now at triangle apq okay so based on this you can work out aq square is equals to ap square minus pq square why do we do this because the question requires you to find aq square is equals to something so we always want to look at AQ square first, okay? Now, what about AP square? Can we do it further? Notice that AP square, okay, is actually over here, okay? Which this is equals to AB square plus BP square, right? Okay, using another Pythagoras theorem, we know that AP square is equals to this. Okay, so I will leave this as AP square. Okay, minus PQ square. Okay, so what is PQ square? Notice that PQ square now is over here. So let's look at the triangle, which is PQC. Okay, since it is not the longer side, so this is equals to minus of PC square minus CQ square. Okay, so we are effectively using Pythagoras theorem three times. Okay, so once we get this, okay, we can expand this out to get AB square plus BP square minus PC square plus CQ square. Okay, now what is BP square minus PC square? Notice that P cuts BC in the midpoint. This also means that BP is equals to PC. And this also means that BP square is equals to PC square. Which also otherwise means that if I have BP square minus PC square, and they are equal, I can actually cancel them out, okay? Because they are equal, okay? So if I cancel them out, you will notice that you will be able to get your answer right away, okay? Therefore, AQ square is equals to CQ square plus AB square, okay? And this is your answer. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.